Hello guys and welcome back to another FIFA 20 career mode episode. Today we're kicking off episode 2 with the final few preseason games and we might even be able to start the Premier League season as well. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this Manchester United rebuild and career mode series, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell just to help me out guys, help reach all you guys, get the latest videos out as soon as possible straight to your YouTube screens and uh, also drop a follow on my Twitter account go check out my Instagram account as well if you want to keep up to date with all the latest news with the channel so let's get straight into the episode as you can see straight away in the notifications we've got a couple of things first of all uh, we have been suggested from our assistant manager that our new captain or the captain that should be selected is Bruno Fernandes he's a recent signing uh, from the last episode and we had a mixed bag of results in the last episode we had two wins and a draw uh, mostly positive however we probably should have won the third game which ended up in a nil draw a bit of a complacent game but it's all about building up that player morale ready for the start of the new season um, so we will change that as we go into the game Bruno Fernandes has got the leadership trait or the leadership skills um, and then also Matteo Damian, a player that we was looking to sell in the first episode. He has officially now been sold to RB Leipzig. So that is Damian out of the way. And uh, before we go any further, we might as well make Bruno Fernandes the captain. Currently, it's David De Gea. Um, we need to go rolls. But for now, we'll move Bruno Fernandes. Just purely because of how buggy this career mode is. EA have released a very, very broken. Mode. So, I don't want to risk getting sacked over something so stupid. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the first game right now. We're playing Bayern Munich in the preseason semi final of the European Continental Shield. Let's get cracking. Hope we have a great game. So, here we go, guys. Our first game of this episode. It's not a major game. However, the preseason has be suddenly become very important to Karimos in FIFA 20. Thanks to the player morale system, and uh, it's just all about looking to get all the team on board, good morale, hopefully ready and prepped for the beginning of the new season. Alien uh, Pound attacking midfielder Bruno Fernandes. What a sign and Hopefully we can replicate that in real life as well. Um, he is going to be the captain just because of that leadership trait, and like I said, I don't want to risk um, <laughs> getting sacked straight off. Because of some sort of bug in the career mode. But here we go. Hopefully we can have a cracking game. Oh, Jaden Sancho. Sancho. No. Back to Rashford. Yeah, get in there. It's taking a little bit of time. Just before half time. Marcus Rashford has put a goal in the net. And we are 1-0 up. Jaden Sancho and Rashford work it really well on the wing. A bit of good fortune. And Rashford's open in the middle of the box. I had to pass to him. And that uh, secured our first goal of the match. It's been a tough game. Bayern Munich are a tough customer. And uh, they have got most of their full team out. So it's a little bit of a tough game at the moment. But 1-0 up. Happy days. Go on. Greenwood. Greenwood. Yes! Mason Greenwood. Has got another goal to his name. I think he's got like three or four goals now in this preseason. He's been playing really well. It's a shame he have not got his player face done, isn't it? He has been so good coming on off the bench. Someone that will be used a lot more as well. Two-footed, absolutely quality striker. Mason Greenwood on the score sheet. And we are 2-0 up in what's been a very difficult game. If James can go up a few overalls this season, he's going to be one hell of a player. But anyway, that is it. Full time in our first game of the episode. We have won 2-0 to Bayern Munich. It was a tough game. And it's, it's still on world class. The problem with that is that when we play teams like this, we don't have a lot of possession. As you see, we only had three shots altogether. But all on target, uh, Bayern Munich had more shots and more possession. And like I just said, that's kind of like the standard thing on this the computer so it does look like we're going to be playing AC Milan in the final and in the final of the preseason tournament so 
So that is going to be good. It'll be a good game. Hopefully shouldn't be as tough as Bayern Munich, but who knows? We haven't actually played AC Milan yet, so you never know how that could go. Um, I am going to do the training boost. Um, we're going to be using them up just so that we can train boost up Greenwood, James and Gomez as much as possible. Yeah, Greenwood's now gone up to a 68 overall with a nice chunk of that. He's nearly halfway to 69 already. Gomez nearly halfway to 70. He's already gone up once. Um, I didn't mean to click on that. So what we have here, we have a loan offer for Phil Jones, and we will accept that. We might as well try and get him out with some game time. We've got 2.8 mil prize money. Let's have a quick look at some transfers if we've found anyone else of use. Uh, this is any position and promising. Um, basically, just going to try and see if we can find anyone that's going to make a big difference, really. Uh, we've got a few players already being scouted. Um, I don't really know who else. I think that'll be it. Uh, what about the next category? Attackers. Probably looking at getting a backup striker. Lachiro Martinez. Uh, he's one person that I was thinking about getting in the previous career mode in my Tottenham career mode in FIFA 19. Uh, maybe he might be better in this game. He's a little bit more pacier. Um, Thomas Party, a good, strong CDM. Uh, we do need a defensive fielder just to help our team sort of sticky situations we've got one target here in dd and he's not going to cost a lot either 22 years old he should go up a fair bit um it's just so that mctominy can drop to the bench for now just so that we've got back in mctominy and hopefully have a good chance of improving the team a lot more uh, as you can see there alexandro another left back target right midfield as you see this is Dembele. now he's one player that i'm definitely interested in looking to get in oh that'd be a quality sign and we're on the right wing and um, the only problem is <laughs> we've signed Jaden Sancho so a uh, right wing's not exactly target right now um James Rodriguez he would be good but look at the pace 57 to the race 54 sprint speed absolutely ridiculed on this game so that's about it for transfers at the moment I don't really have um anything in mind I think I am going to probably go ahead and get Indeed in James Madison 79 overall, Axtell is 84, uh, Dinier is 83, we could get Dinier in, I think he's he recently joined, no he hasn't, well, he's got a release clause of 50 mil, Alexandro, we should be able to pick him up quite cheap because I think it's a year left on his contract, I might hold out on the left back and we might be able to pick up Alexandro on a free, that might be kind of handy, but for now, let's buy... Another player to add to our youthful rebuild, and that is Wilfred Adidi. I'm going to try and get him in. A quality player, uh, 81 overall, 22 years old. Just seems to fit in perfectly with what I want to try and do in this career mode and in this rebuild of Manchester United. Um, we're not exactly going to be able to buy the biggest and best straight off. We need to be careful, but for 23.9 mil, we cannot complain about that considering that will be a massive upgrade uh next to pogba and it just frees and also means we've got when we get into the sort of tricky stage of the season um when we play many games and you get the fixture congestion and we're gonna need to have as many good players available as possible so let's just get this contract out there with and then we can look to play the final Pre-season game of the first season of Manchester United Rebuild. And there we go. Wilfred Ndidi is officially a Manchester United player. As you can see here, we've signed three players now. Jaden Sancho, Bruno Fernandes, and now Wilfred Ndidi. All young players and all players that are going to improve the squad immensely. Uh, let's fit him in. We can now move uh, Pereira off the bench Fred is injured as well um, it's not that Pereira won't get game time same with Fred it's not like Fred won't get game time it's just for the fact that I want McTominay on the bench with Ndidi playing 
Um, and the bench is slowly looking stronger. Uh, when, once Greenwood and James get up a few overalls, uh, we'll be looking at a very talented team. I probably will look to try and get another striker in. Um, but other than that, I think the score's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's move on to the next game of this episode. So guys, as you can see here, we have a 2.5 million pound offer for Ashley Young. We will be accepting that. I am pretty surprised we've even got an offer in. He's 34 years old. He will not be a part of this club, nor this rebuild. And now we can go into the next game of the match. Hopefully it'll be a good result. And we're going to plan our lovely goal kit. I do, do love that kit. Uh, we're going to keep Milan in their home strip, their black and red stripes. And I think the squad is in pretty good nick at the moment. I might start Greenwood. And then maybe rest Lindelof. We'll give Unhappy Jones a game. We'll give Actually, let's give Dallow a game. wan has been playing really well. But we might as well give him a game. Romero as well. Give him a game. And who else? I think that's about it, really. Let's bring on Gomez and Chonga. Let's bring on some of the youth reserves. Maybe give them a taste just before the new season hits. So, guys, here we go. We're at the San Siro for our final preseason game of this opening start to our first season in... The Manchester United team. We are the manager. We are hoping to progress towards Premier League glory. Obviously, we're rebuilding the club. We're bringing in exciting, young, youthful, talented players. And uh, hopefully, it's going to be a great season. So really, it's just a matter of knuckling down and hopefully bringing back glory to Manchester United. Targets for this season, win the league reach the final of the Europe, uh, Europa League and hopefully win one of the UA, uh, not the UA, for the FA Cup and the Capital One Cup or as we know it at the moment, Carabao Cup. I'll be happy with a season that ends like that. But it's going to be a tough, long season. Oh, and Rashford. Here we go, here we go. Counter-attack. Look at the pace on Rashford. Marcus Rashford. Blocks. It's blocks. Oh, God's sake. Take so long to take a bloody shot. Oh, what a save. Romero with a quality save. And that has kept the score at nil nil. And I'll tell you something. It's been ridiculous. I've had probably like 35% possession. Been absolutely dominated. I don't know why, but it is happening. And oh, my God. Milan are getting incredibly fortunate. Well, there we have it, guys. Full time, nil nil, but it is the final. So we're going straight to penalties, I believe. It's been a really, <clears throat> really crazy game. I mean, we've barely touched the ball. We've had a few shots, and they either blocks or saved. As you can see here, look at this. We've had 39% possession. Um, 10 shots between two teams in the whole game. Pass accuracy has been crap. Uh, it's just been one of those games where we just need to get it over and done with. So here we go. Penalties. Here we are. Oh my god, they missed the first one. Come on. Yes, Martial. Man, I'm just happy to get him on target. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh no. This is so fucking horrible. Oh, what the hell? Yes, Romero. Come on. What if we keep it low? Oh, my God. I red-timed it. I red-timed it. Oh, my God. What? Why is it hitting the crossbar? That's it. We've lost, boys. Oh, for God's sake. We've lost on penalties. 
What the hell? These penalties are atrocious. Ah, that is disappointing. Well, we're going to skip the celebrations. I don't want to be watching them. So, a very difficult game, a very boring game has turned out to be a very disappointing result. AC Milan have beaten us on penalties. And to be fair, I ain't pretty pleased with that. However, let's just move on. We can focus now on finishing the last little bit of transfer business. And then we have the Premier League to worry about. So we're going to have an offer for Young. We're just going to accept them just to try and get him out of the club. We have a transfer offer for Mata. 17.6 mil. City, mate. You can have him for that. I'm not even going to negotiate. Uh, transfer offer for Luke Shaw. How much do they want to pay? 24 mil. I'm sorry, sir, but we will be rejecting that. McTominay. Again, we'll be rejecting that. And I think that's it for transfer offers. Yes, it is. So we can get rid of that interest shown. So PSG want to buy Alex Tellers. We might have to move in for Alex Tellers if we want to buy him. Um, 36 mil. Do we have enough? That would probably be the final signing. Yeah, it would because we've only got 32 mil. We turn that wage budget back. Um, so we've got enough for him. Um, shall we? Shall we? Yeah, why not? That's probably one of the last sort of few areas to upgrade. I mean, centre back. We probably do need a better centre back. Sort of. Sort of. Maybe could be possibly. The only reason why I say that is because obviously we've got Maguire at eighty two rated. We've got Lindelof at eighty one rated, and then all the other centre backs. Um are 80 or below, but they've got good potential. So, at the end of the season, we're hoping that they're going to be in a position where they're going to be first team and they're going to be, like, mid-80s. So, yeah, why not? Let's go and get Alex Tellers. 36 mil they've accepted or been approached by. Let's see if we can sign them for a reasonable amount. What we're going to do is we are going to offer one of our centre-backs that are going to be going from the club. So we've got Marcus Rojo here, 8 million. They don't want him. Oh, offer other position. Midfielders, fullback, strikers. Who have we got midfield that we're looking to get rid of? Matic, oh, 13 million. And 39 mil cash. Well, we can trim that down. Let's counter that. Propose new transfer fee. Let's start off with 20 mil. 37. You can even keep your 10% selling clause. Still 37. Come on. He's... Alex Tellers is a great fullback, but I don't want to be paying ridiculous amounts for him. Uh, they're going to take some time to think about it. So we could potentially be signing Alex Tellers here for 28 mil plus Nemanja Matic, which does mean we've replaced Matic and potentially got rid of him. From the squad. So that's happy days. Um, Jones has been loaned out. He's gone to Leon. We have a loan offer for Chong. And that might be a great move. We're going to accept that actually. That would be a very, very good move. Um, 10 mil for that. Well, we'll leave that. We can come back to that offer from Formatic. Um, oh, come back again. 35 mil. Right, negotiate. Let's negotiate. I want to try and get it, see if we can get it for 30 mil. There we go. They've agreed on it. So 30 mil with a 10% sell-on clause and Matic going the other way. And then we have signed Alex Tellez, a really great Brazilian fullback. And that is great because although I like Phil Jones, it means we've got some backup for the left back, uh, which we haven't had for a long time. Basically, we've had a fill-in player with like young and whatnot <laughs> it's good news for us if we can get the contract over and done with and put him into the team and hopefully he'll hit the mark he's 26 years old he's not quite sort of the young youthful player we need however if you look at left backs currently there isn't really many great left backs in world football that we could pick up for this cheap so it's kind of really i don't know just trying to Sort that out. Um, what are we saying? 
I don't know what waged off from. There you go. He's off. He's asked for that. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Right. There we go. And that is done and dusted. Signed, sealed, delivered. Our fourth major signing of the season. We've revamped the first team very quickly. We've signed uh, Jaden Sancho, uh, Bruno Fernandes, Wilfred Ndidi, and now Alex Tellers replacing and adding to the squad, which is very, very handy indeed. We're looking pretty strong already. Um, we are going to move Martial back to the left wing. But yeah, so the squad's looking really strong already. This is it's really good. So hopefully we can have a quality season and uh, really push on towards the title challenge. Uh, Alex Tellers, you'll be coming straight into the team, my friend. I'm sorry, Luke Shaw, you will be dropped. But you'll be playing fairly regularly. I do rotate my teams quite regularly. And uh, that is about it for transfers. That is all our budget gone. Uh, before we started this career mode, I didn't have the 60% wage increase from, which carries over as like a bonus from last career mode, uh, which is a shame because that would have helped a hell of a lot. Uh, we've got some scout reports. So what I'll do now is I'll flick through some scout reports if we find anyone really good. And if we sign anyone or target anyone, I'll let you guys know. So guys, as you can see here from the notifications, we have sold Rojo for £9.7 million and £8 million have been allocated to the budget. And Chris Moore has sold for £12.8 million as well. Uh, we're still getting offers for Ashley Young, which we're still accepting. Um, I mean, he's had so many offers at the moment. It's kind of crazy, really. Uh, we've got a couple more scout reports in. Um, they're broken down. They're broken down. And Matt has finally agreed terms. And Matt has now been sold as well. So we've got another 15 million to go back onto the budget. Uh, Fred's returned from injury. So that is happy days. Uh, so let's have a look at the youngsters. Kiwi. Damn, he's quick. 20 years old. And Party as well. Looking pretty solid. And really, that is probably going to be it. We'll, have, we'll keep an eye out because we might still be able to sign some young players um, in the transfer window. We've still got plenty of time, so make sure you throw down your suggestions down below. Um, we want all your suggestions to help out in building the team, making it as strong as possible, ready for the start of the season. So, guys, some more transfer updates. And as you can see here, Ashley Young has finally been sold. And he's agreed personal terms with Roma, so he has gone uh, only 2.2 mil, but he is off the books. Uh, we have a transfer for Lindelof, which will be straight away rejected no matter how much they offer. As Lindelof is one of my main men right now. We want to try and keep the squad as close to real life as possible. And also bringing in realistic transfer targets. Cameron Borford jackson I remember when he came through under Van, Van Gaal. He actually looked pretty decent, but he sort of phased out pretty quickly. Um, we've got Raquel May here. Doesn't look particularly anything special. But yeah, so we're getting close now to our first league match. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a big match as well. It's against Chelsea. And then we have training to do, which... Oh, I like the new backgrounds. That is really awesome. Uh, yeah, training here. We could potentially see upgrades. So it was eight, actually gone up already. 69 overall. Uh, Gomez is now 70. Daniel James is so close to 73. And we've got a couple of messages and we're about to hit the Premier League. So, uh, Fosu Mensah has gone out to Hoffenheim on a loan deal. That is pretty handy. Get him some game time. So the squad is looking almost ready now for the beginning of the season. I'm pretty happy with the transfer business we've done. We've still got room for more. So any transfer suggestions from you guys are more than welcome. Drop them down below. We'll have a look. Whether or not be in the video or off the video, I will definitely have a look at some of the players. If not all the players you suggest, it just depends on what time we have left. But here we go. We got our first pre-match press conference. Let's go. We're going to attend the conference. Let's see if this stuff is actually any good. Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. So, Man United's running former pre season left fans wanting... For more of the same once it starts to get serious, how does it impact the squad? Um, uh, hmm. It 
There we go. Happy, happy. I like that. I don't know how many questions you get. I, I don't know. I think you get like a couple of questions. Can the team handle the pressure of qualifying for UEFA Champions League? Yeah, we'll do that. It's well, it's we got the quality. We're gonna do it. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. I quite like these press conferences. They're pretty sick. <laughs> I quite like that. So three questions. That's enough to sort of uh, keep you intrigued, but little enough to sort of get through it quite quickly. They're going to be really important. So um, here we go. So here we go, guys. Our final game of the episode. Our first game of the Premier League season. We're taking on Chelsea at Old Trafford. It's looking awesome. And uh, hopefully we can have a quality game. Pog was starting. We've got a lot of changes. Um, bringing in from new transfers and players asking to start. And if they play badly, then they just get kicked out of the squad, I'm afraid. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go from here and hopefully have a quality game. Well, guys, half time is here in the first game of the Premier League season. It's been a difficult match. It is nil-nil, and we've not seen a lot of the ball. It's been like the AC Milan game, where it's been really scrappy. Uh, look at that. Two shots from us, and that's it. Chelsea hasn't had a single shot. But they've had 57% possession. I'm going to try and flick this formation. For some reason, Greenwood's been pushed out there. Uh, let's change up the formation, and we'll get straight back into the game. Oh, come on. As if they just lunge like that. There's Wan Bissaka. They've just swayed me. They've just swayed me! We've conceded the first goal of the season, and we're in trouble here. Chelsea have just swayed me. For fuck's sake. Right, all our subs are coming on. Go on. Yes! We needed that. We didn't deserve to lose this game. Marcus Rashford has come on, and in the 92nd minute, we've actually gone and equalised. It's been a really shit game. I'm not going to lie. Really bad. It's been horrible. We've had hardly any possession. It's been a real struggle to tackle, real struggle to get the ball. Uh, but the main thing is, the main thing is that as soon as Rashford and Bruno Fernandes come on, they've made one hell of a difference. And I will take a one all result against Chelsea when the game's been playing like this. And losing the first game of the season. So that is it. Full time. The end of the first game in the league. And uh, the thankfully clawed a point back. Uh, that could have been a lot worse than what it was. As you can see here, they had more possession. But look at that. Seven shots. They've made one in the whole game. Uh, pretty disappointing. And we do have a post-match interview here. And then we'll be ending the second episode of this series Straight after that. So, what have we got coming? We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Ask away, dear. Ask away. Is the draw good enough? Well, we'll go with that. We'll go with. That. That's such a tactical answer. Um, there we go. Fair enough. Is it going to be three questions again? Well, there we go. Coming out of preseason with high hopes for Greenwood. Yeah, his team performance was a letdown. God. There we go. Yeah, we want to keep him very, very happy. So, team morale currently at content, but. I'm pretty sure after a few wins in the next episode, that might change 
switch things around. Um, let's just have a quick player chat. Okay, stay grounded. Yeah, keep it up, keep it up. I mean, he didn't exactly have a great game, to be fair. Um, but, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. So, there we go. Oh, Daniel James has gone up as well. He's now a 73 a left midfielder. Uh, Green was halfway to 70. Gomez is about to hit 71. So it looks like they're going to be going up pretty quickly. So that is it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell if you want to see all the latest FIFA 20 content on my channel. We've now started the Road to Glory series. Uh, that will be streaming very regularly. And obviously, we've got Foot Champs coming up next weekend. And then in between, we're going to be smashing out career modes like no tomorrow. So thanks for watching. And until the next time, take care.